What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're checking out something new. A brand new game from Bossa Studios. You may know Bossa Studios from uh, games such as I Am Bread and Surgeon Simulator. This is a new one. Something that, uh, way different than that. It's called Worlds Adrift. You're a character who goes around into a world of floating islands. You can create ships. Flying, pirate ships, fly, I don't know if you call them pirate ships. You can make any kind of class of ship. Um, you go to different floating worlds, you salvage ruins, get new technology, and play with other players. It's a multiplayer game where you can hop on with your friends and have your own crew or your fleet. If you can build yourself your own kind of gear, uh, it can get stolen, it can get raided. Got a little power, we got a little uh, cutter, if you will. I have a cutter here. So we got salvage mode, which is a uh, salvage and foraging. We also have our repair mode, so we can repair our ship. We also have a lift mode, which I have not tried. I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea what that is. Lift mode, and then forge scanner. Oh, gotcha. But our main tools are our salvage mode, and on our right we have a grappling hook. So whenever you get a circle, that means that you are in range. If you go ahead and hit our circle, so now if I want to go, I think it has a, a range of like 50 feet, 50 meters. Boom. Shift key will bring you up. Now it is physics based, so if you get your grappling hook and you accidentally run your face into a wall, uh, it'll take damage. You can knock yourself out. We are on a floating, we're on our own little floating, how do I get down here? Ah, oh, so now we gotta, now we have to gingerly kind of swing our way down here. Oh, Jeebus! <laughs> oh, alright, control will lower us down. Oh, and it looks like we're on a distant, distant desert land. Now it is procedurally generated, so different islands will have different things. What, can we do anything with the uh, the rocks here? Anything? Anything good? Cannot be manipulated with the placement tool. Oh, it's a placement tool. Forge scanner. What did that do? Now, I do have an inventory, but I have no idea how to use it. Let's see here. Controls. Anything on the controls? Feedback? Disable music? Nope. Okay. I, I'm checking around different controls here. Just checking stuff out. Oh, we can sit down. So it doesn't seem like there's any kind of zoom out mode. Let's see. I'm just gonna check it on different controls here. I'm trying to find my inventory. I don't seem to find it. I don't know where it is. But let's check it out. Now, once you get a certain see now there are some creatures that are not cool with you. So you have to be you gotta be chill. Hut Can we salvage anything from this? Let's show the salvage tool here. So say if I need a, I need some wood. Do I have to punch logs? No, you don't have to punch logs anymore. Boom! That's how you cut logs. Salvaged. Cedar logs. Ten. So it just automatically puts it in there. You just gotta hold it in, get a charge. Hello. Boom. Come on, man. There we go. And now we've we've gotten five logs. And now we have ten logs. So you just keep on cutting it up, apparently. Now this is in super duper early alpha, 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 alpha. What are you? Can I do something with you? Oh, I can. It looks like that's something inside there. How about can I just salvage you? Salvage fuel. Hey, hey, where are you going, man? Uh, let's see what you are. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Hey there, big guy. 
Aha! E to interact. Oh! Okay, now how do I get to my inventory? Okay, so we have our shipyard. We can build. We also have an assembly station. Does it have any kind of like idea of how do you do that? Okay, so chest. We have an ash log. Okay, we got some iron, which is good. Good, good, good. Piece. That's like a map piece. And we have some fuel, and of course our logs. And we have cedar and ash logs. Good. So we have to kind of like inventory management control here. Good, good. Okay, how do I get to this? <laughs> That's the question I need to know. Now there are uh, storms, so if you're flying and you have a ship that's not really meant uh, to be flown, but you're kind of just like flowing through it there, uh, you will get caught into the storm and it will not be a good time. If you die in this game, your inventory is lost and you have to go back and try to get it. If you died on a planet, if you didn't die on a planet, then you got all kinds of problems. Oh, check this out. E. It's a craft. Craft a sail. Oh, okay. So we have our different scavenger's helm, crew, reviver, scavenger's sky core. Okay, so crew reviver is kind of like your teleport. So if you have that planted down on your ship, you can have your friends pop on in and they can just teleport to where your ship is. Um, everything else is kind of a Kind of a mess. Utility is small storage space. It's beautiful. Sales. Love it. Small storage crate. Got all kinds of fun stuff. But that's only in our inventory. Fasteners. We I mean, I don't have any fasteners. I ain't got no fasteners, baby. Good. We must craft it all. Let's see here. Bolted window panel. Large metal. Metal panel. And this is for the panels of the ship. Wood deck. Metal deck. I hate it when my deck is wood. Hate it. Okay. What's this over here? Oh. Okay, so we have... Okay. Oh, show controls. I'm seeing in the top right. Gotcha. <laughs> ah. X, sit down, get up. Tab shows the inventory. Beautiful. 1 to 8 shows the hot bar items, and then you can chat with all your friends. Register. What is it? What are we registering? Target needs to be repaired before it can be used. I'll repair you. How do we repair? Ah. Seems like this is a like a frame of a ship. Oh, check it out. Oh, and it takes logs to repair things. Write that down. Noted. Requires cedar logs to repair. What is this? What if I want to salvage you? Can I do that? Right. Okay, so this is definitely a game. Uh, it's gonna uh, one of those kind of games where you gotta sit down. It's definitely something cool to live stream, but it is only early access, early uh, alpha. So they are currently working on a ton of stuff. So let's take control. So now this is how you take control of your upside down ship. This is me moving my mouse around. You can move it left and right. Forward is full throttle, and the red here in the middle, that's where you want to be, that's the sweet spot, and then this is of course slow down and or reverse, so, beautiful. Get me out of this. Jane, get me off this crazy thing. So this thing is, this thing is bonk, yo, this thing is not, not for us. What are you? No, don't, don't grapple. Hello? Salvage mode. Beautiful. I like that mechanic though. Oh, you do have to watch out because if these trees do hit you, you will take damage. Get ourselves some cedar. Now, I've been waiting for this game to come out for quite some time, and uh, just to be able to play it is something that. Uh, oh, piece of candy. To sit here and play this, we got oh we got weights, and then they're like yo you wanna you can record if you want. I'm like oh that's awesome, that's awesome. What is this? A neck scarf? Well, shiver me timbers. Hold on here. Oh that's the inventory. I need to make myself pretty. Unlearn knowledge, character, beautiful. Okay, so we have ourselves a scarf now. Oh isn't that nice? It gets rid of our hair. 
But now we have... <laughs> we got a haircut and a new scarf. Get a haircut and get a new scarf. But these worlds are floating islands. Now, they do have a free app on the Steam store. Um, it's called an Island Creator. So they take the Island Creator, all the things that from the people who have created uh, different islands, obviously. And you can submit that, and then they can add that into their machine. Into the machine, into the computer system, and then your island could be something that someone plays on. That's so cool. That's free. That's a free thing that you can get on the Steam Workshop. Just type in Worlds Adrift. And you'll see it. It'll be right there. Where are you going, man? Gotcha. <laughs> nice. All right. So, ooh, what are you? Like I said, there are ruins and things like that that you can kind of uh, is it lift? So, so forge scanner here. Not do anything. That's the repair. nothing right so let's see what we can do here with our parts oh, can, we, can we salvage any part of the iron ship you would think you'd be able to, to scrap this or not hut hut okay so we've got this piece over here but that is yeah let's press E to craft Assembly station. What if I... So if I wanted to just make a frame. Hmm. Schematics. Unlearn. Small... I don't want to unlearn it. No. no. This is just for the metal... The metal... That's a deck body. It takes these things. Metal hull deck that can be made into a ship frame, but we need these little pieces here. So we need to do a... Get like a forge or something? What's going, what's going on here? Scavenger sky core. Yep, that's a... Your know, power core. Uh, utility... Sail. Nope, I don't need sail. Don't need anything yet. Nothing like that. Alright. And the sun is shining. It's about to come out. Yay. It's a little dark up in here. Alright. So. Here is basic shipyard for... Let's see if we can put that into five. And we'll put this into six. Full showing purpose. This is an early alpha. Um, there's not a whole lot we'll be able to do right off the bat because this will take hours of uh, of checking out and scavenging. So I'm going to kind of show you the basics. So we have a shipyard here and on the inside is a ship core. So if you go into the crafting, select ship schematic to load into the shipyard. Shipyard code. I'm not sure exactly what any of this is. So we have our dinghy. We have a sky ship. Uh, you can make them, I believe, as big as your technology knowledge is. So we have a dinghy. <laughs> let's do a rig let's do a sky ship or a spear. Let's do a spear. Let's do a spear. Save. I'm not sure if that'll even be able to do that. Save. Okay. So in here, deck. So we need to get okay. Click edit to customize the shape of your ship. Edit. Ah, so try to move it around here. This is the shape of our ship. The shape of our ship. And you can go in and you can customize this to however you wish. If you're good at 3D Max or anything like that with the editing of any kind of uh, different uh, layers and such, you can fold this pretty much to your liking. Now, if you start with the dinghy. See, we just move that in there. We can extend the ship. We can also bring this down if you don't want to have that extra crew there. If you don't want to have this extra bit, you can take this, drop it down, or extend it, or bring it into there. So that way, if you want to have a nicer ship, I like that. I like that. Done. Okay. Save. Click edit to customize sh the shape of your ship. Okay, edit. Okay, right. Okay, now I've hit done. And that should give us the, at least the frame. Click save to craft the ship. Save. And then that frame is loaded up into the sky. 
And then I'm not sure if we need to add, but I think we're going to need to add materials to it, obviously. So the more materials that you add into it, the better it will be. And then you can add that. Oh, okay. I wonder if you could put some iron into here. Yeah, it will. That's awesome. So, I think I probably goofed up here. I think I done goofed. What is this? Iron, no quality. Beams. Save. You can only add materials of the same quality. Okay, same quality. You got bronze. Oh, okay, so there's quality to the iron. And since I loaded quality iron 5, because we have 50 of it, but we have 275 of the iron quality of eight. You can move that in there. Save. Anything good? Is that going to build anything up? Buttercup? Here. Spear. Yes. Shipyard code. Alright, so it's one of those things where you kind of, I guess you got to kind of just let it uh, do what you got to build it. You got to grab all the, the different things here. Hold up. Hold up. Now, when it comes to salvaging, though, oh, I like how the daytime comes out. It's like, what can we do here for iron? Nope. But look at all these other different uh, different places that you can go once you finally get up off the ship. Let's see if I can make a dinghy. Uh, that that ship that I'm making over there is pretty it's pretty ridiculous. It's pretty big. Let's see if we can at least get up and running here. Let's we'll see what we can do. All right. So here's our little here's our little dinghy. Here's my dangling. My dangling. If we can extend this, we can make it longer. We can make the uh, curves a little curvier. We can expand this to make it more of a width of a ship. We can also bring it in. It's very, very intriguing to me how you can kind of edit this. If you're, like I said, if you're good at 3D rendering and mapping, you, you're going to be all about this. So go ahead and done. Let's go ahead and we'll load. Uh, can we do this? Save. So we need 206 and 50 wood. We got 50 wood. I got 50 wood all day. Bang. Save. Now what? Hold on here. Okay, craft. Oh, okay. It is being built. She is gorgeous. And we can't even fly her yet because we don't have the components like engines, sails, and or uh, steering. But we can move these things from, I believe we can take the stuff that's on our shipwreck over here. We can add that. So we at least we have a power core. We have some fuel. I don't know if we can move it. Can we move it? The lift mode. Oh yeah, we can. With the lift mode, we can. Part is too damaged. Okay, so we got to repair all this stuff, which could take a little bit of time. Fauntlet repair mode. But let's check out the ship, man. The frame she has done. Now you need to have, on the crafting section, you need to get metal panels, wood panels, anything to kind of uh, shape the ship, add some engines, and you got to go into a huge salvaging mode. Let's see if I can move this. Oh, I can. What happened? Okay. Part is too damaged. Repair with multi tool. How dare you, sir? What do you think I'm trying to do over here? Requires cedar log to be repaired. Can I move it now? Boom. Ah, shenanigans. Okay, well, let's go check out our ship from the top there. Can I do that? Is that a thing? Wee! Oh! <laughs> Hello! 
Look at us. Okay, so let's control. Let's kind of get a little swing of motion going on here. I like this kind of mechanic. Well, we can just go ahead and keep on keeping on here. Let's go ahead and swing. Let's... Oh, dang it. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I'll tell you what. Let's try this 100% again. Wow, that kind of goes a little... That gets a little, a little wonky there, doesn't it? I just want to get on my ship. I just want to get on my ship. Ow. Ow. And this is this is the deck of my ship. Now, when you're this is cool because when you're in the sky and you start taking damage, say you see a pirate or you see another player, uh, they'll start firing their cannons at you. You can get like little turrets and things like that, and then you can uh, go to town, go to war with the peoples. Um, but you can also repair while on the fly. So if you have a captain who's manning the ship and you tell someone like, hey man, our, our right engine is needs to be repaired and your right engine's on the bottom here, your homie has to attach with a grappling hook, go all the way down in mid-air, repair with the repair tool, and then try to work his way back up. It's super interesting. I think it's going to be a really, really cool idea. So. Oh god. <laughs> Got it. Nailed it. So also, when you build your ship, you should probably make a little bit of a tower to uh, put over the side so you can grapple. You know what I'm saying? So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be salvaging around, going to be rummaging around, trying to get some extra parts here. This is like a little uh, preview. I'm going to try and do another episode of this. Oh, also, when you uh, make your uh, salvage station, this little bubble gets created here. It's like a little force field. I'm not sure exactly if that keeps anything out. I do not know. Um, but there's a EU server and there is a uh, American server, obviously. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to be salvaging and creating stuff. Let me know what you think of this game in the comment section down below. Um, I know that once this comes out into full release, we're going to be all about it. But at the moment, um, I'm not sure exactly how long the servers are going to be up. They've extended it for an extra couple days. But I'm going to be playing this for a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. But this game is super duper interesting. And we can build stuff. And I like building stuff. I don't know how to, I don't know exactly how to uh, get iron. But we'll figure it out. I've done no research. I've done zero research at all. Let's see here. What are you? Repair mode, lift mode, forge scanner mode. I don't know what forge scanning does, um, but I do know that that's a thing. Sidem grants no knowledge. Oh, hold on. Item grants no knowledge, so we need knowledge. We need we, we need to get smarter, man. All right, I know that there was something that was interesting. It's like this little. It looks like there's something on here. You gain 30 knowledge. Oh, see? Okay. You already gained knowledge from scanning this. Interesting. We're gaining knowledge. So it's all about learning. Boo. Who wants to learn? No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Ah, oh, this game. I just wish that we weren't on, like, there's ice planets. Like, there's ice rocks. I guess They're not really planets, but they're definitely different kind of biomed uh, stuff. But then we're at the edge of the world here. We're at the edge of our little world. So hopefully, we can find enough parts to salvage. If you have any tips, hints, or tricks, which I'm pretty sure you won't, but it never hurts to ask uh, to see how I get iron, I gotta do my own little research as well. Let's see here. Forge mode. Item grants no knowledge. Gives me nothing. Okay. You can also use this as a weapon in case you need to kill something. Oh, what's this? Hello. Do you grant knowledge?
I have grants no knowledge. Huh? This seems like it would be a good place to, like, I don't know, teleport into? I don't know. It seems like it would be. Let's hop, let's hop on up here. Oh, we're dangling. Do you give any knowledge? Nope. Uh, do you give any materials? Guess not. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so it's going to take a little bit of extra time and a little extra know-how, knowledge, to try and... I wonder if I can do a Spider-Man. 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 Hook. Oh, you can. You totally can. Just gotta get the timing down. There are different uh, structures and buildings and things like that that you can go and explore for yourself. I'm just trying to figure out if maybe we on camera we can get anything. Nothing. Lift mode. Forward scanner mode. I don't know. I don't know, but I do know that I need to repair a bunch of stuff, and it all takes wood. So, uh, folks, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of this game, by all means, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit that like button. Helps me out. What is this? You know, there's all kinds of stuff over here, man. There's all kinds of goings on. What are you? Can I repeat? Nothing? I think I'm stuck, actually. <laughs> Awesome. There's all kinds of like cool little architecture and structures and stuff like that that I have no idea how to salvage any parts from. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. I kind of just jumped into this all willy-nilly like. But it certainly is interesting. And we got to build our ship. It must be done. It has to be done. And if it doesn't get done, then... Uh, it will have to wait for us to uh, check it out in beta. But I'm going to be doing some more videos on this. That is for sure. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe too. We're going to be seeing some more videos for sure of Worlds Adrift. Because i got to show you the floating. We also have there's sort of like wings you can put on the back that are kind of like wingsuits. Uh, really, really interesting, interesting stuff. No, don't, don't plant that. And the music's pretty too. You can't go wrong with something like that. You just can't. It's impossible. We have torches. Oh, okay. Torches. Shipbuilding. Assembly station. Shipyard. Yeah, we have all that. Ammunition, metal bullets, ranged weapons, ballistic pistol. So we have weapons as well, but that all takes iron and all kinds of doodads and whatnots. But first things first, we have to get the essentials. We have to do some repairs and make our ship whole again. So folks, everyone have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night, peace out, light shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in Worlds Adrift next time.
Terrified me. 